Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, maybe stick around and hit that subscribe button. I've noticed a trend going on recently of people painting their shoes. And I just am infatuated with these videos. As you guys know, I just spend a lot of time probably on Instagram watching very satisfying videos. And I find the aftermath of what the shoes look like very satisfying. And I'm very sorry, mom, but I know you got me these white bands and I pretty much never wore them. So I'm going to paint them and maybe I'll start wearing them more. I don't know, we'll see. I've got some reference pictures of like what kind of design I really want on it. I'm going for a very neutral kind of colors. Most of the people that paint their shoes are really good at it. And I'll put up some example videos over here. I, I'm i okay at art. I'm not the best, but I'm okay at it. All right, I'm, I'm okay. So I thought I might as well give it a try, but I wanna stick to lots of browns and maybe some yellows and some oranges and throw in some green in there because right now it's literally my favorite color. I know there's like certain paints you should use or certain stuff you should mix with your paints so that it works well on the shoe, but I'm just gonna use my acrylic paint and hope that I'm never in the rain while wearing these or never step in a puddle by accident because I'm sure it will ruin the whole thing. Maybe later down the road I can find something to put on top of it so that it doesn't bleed or anything like that. I'm gonna start with painting the entire shoe one color. I'm gonna use this kind of pale yellow color and mix it with a little bit of white. That should hopefully help with painting the designs afterwards. I feel like just painting directly onto the shoe, I don't know, it might not turn out so good. So we're gonna start with this. Here we go. Probably should have cleaned my shoes first. all changed when the Fire Nation attacked. We have a pretty gnarly wasp problem right out there. And I thought they were all gone, but apparently not. I don't really wanna be out here, but I'm gonna show you guys my wasp situation that's going on. Um, kind of scary, but I'll show you. They like to be up in these rafters. There's one right up there. And then that one right there is ridiculous. It's literally like the size of my fist. And then all of that in there. Most of those are wasp nests and not those like bolts. And then there's even a few on that side as well. Plus it's like 100 degrees outside and it was getting very, very hot. So I decided to move everything inside. And here we go again. I guess while I'm painting, I can tell you how things are going. Um, school is finally over, online classes were a joke, but I passed all my classes, got all A's, so that's all that matters. I've pretty much just been watching YouTube videos and that's really all I do with my time. I've actually started running out of YouTube videos to watch, which is just crazy, and I started watching some anime again and for those of you who didn't know, I used to be one of the biggest like anime nerds out there. I would even make my own costumes and go to conventions and all that stuff. For those of you wanting more random art videos, there will be some soon, I swear. There will be more. 
but I'm just waiting for them to update the app a little bit so it starts working a little better. There's been so many new people who discovered randonauting. I don't know how. I mean, like, I feel like everything these days becomes popular from TikTok, so maybe someone did a TikTok about it. I went randonauting with my friend Lex, actually. Maybe it was last month? And I wish I recorded it because it was probably the craziest trip that I've ever been on. So my friend Lex was actually the first person to show me randonauting. She'd heard about randonauting, but she'd never done it before. And so this was her first official trip randonauting. So I gave her control of putting in the location and doing everything like that because I really wanted it to be her experience and her energy that's going into this location. We surprisingly, the first try, got somewhere that wasn't in someone's backyard. So we decided just to go to it and we get to this neighborhood and there is this like little path that goes behind the houses and we decided to go down that path because that's where it, hopefully it would lead us and there ended up being some fenced off parts where we couldn't really get to but it would we needed to get past that to actually get to the location there was a little hole in the fence and so we just decided to go through there but it ended up being a hiking trail we go we stray off the path a little bit and it's pretty much just barren desert there's it's just desert and that's pretty much it but we're trying to get to this location we find these orange cones and they look like they've been there for like 20 years they're super old super dusty just falling apart and we get to the point where there's this fork in the road one path doesn't have anything and then there's one path that has a cone on it and we're like okay let's follow this cone and see where it leads us we follow the cone down the path and look another cone and we're like okay well let's go see where this cone is follow these cones and we get to this point where it's just this like mini grand canyon i've never seen erosion like this in arizona before so we want to get into this crevice part of this place and we go like all the way around it to the other side where it's sloped down so that we could actually walk in and it kind of branches off in multiple directions and one of them kind of has this big concrete piece in it so we go down that path and we're walking down the path and there's just this cone that is sitting upright kind of a slight level higher than us. I am wearing sandals because I'm just a dummy, but Lex had sneakers on, so she like climbs up to it and she uses my water bottle. And I hand her my water bottle, she uses it and she knocks over the cone. And for a second, she just doesn't say anything. She's like, there's a prescription bottle with a note inside of it in this cone. And I'm like, okay, you're just joking, you're pulling my leg, like no way is there actually that inside of that cone. It turns the cone to me and I can see this prescription bottle, this red prescription bottle with a note rolled up inside of it. And I'm like, oh my God, what the heck did we just find? And she unscrews the lid and it's a geocache, which I just thought was the coolest thing. I've never seen or never done geocaching before, but I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to just stumble across them by accident. I know that people do this like just for fun and stuff, but it's weird that we were given a random location and it ended up being exactly a geocache. It literally on the prescription bottle had a little piece of paper with a flag and then dotted lines and then an X, like X marks the spot. So. That was probably one of the coolest trips that we ever had. I wish I recorded it. I recorded little snips and pieces, but not for YouTube. So I won't make that mistake next time. I'm gonna record every single trip I go on. Okay. I think that's one shoe down. On to the next one. I have the base color of the shoes pretty much completely done. The next thing I think I'm gonna do is just take some orange and just do some random geometric shapes everywhere. I am going to mix it with a little bit of white to tone down the color a little bit. 
Um, and then maybe throw in a little bit of brown, but I don't know yet. We'll see what the color looks like first. Yeah, I'm gonna put in the littlest touch of brown. I guess I'm just gonna go for it. little shape done. That's the orange part all done. Let's see. I don't know what color to do next. I think it's some green. I might mix everything with brown just to give it a little bit of a brown undertone. I don't know what I'm talking about, honestly, when it comes to art, but I'm adding brown to everything. All right, I'm adding, I don't know, whatever this color is. My paints don't say what color they actually are, which is a little odd, but it's like a, I don't know, gray brown. I'm putting that in there. Let's see what happens to it. It's an experiment, right? I think that's probably a good color. I think I'm just gonna do some, like, squiggles. <laughs> and we'll see what happens. All right. That's how it looks so far. We're gonna use this kind of teal color. Is this teal? I don't know. Whatever, it's like a aquamarine. But the question is, do I add anything to it? Maybe a little more of this gray brown. Ooh. Okay, that was the right call. I like how it looks. Let's go for it. Okay. I had a little, like, little plant guy right there. And, uh, I like it. Next color then. I think it's time for uh, some red. I'm gonna use this just to do some blobs, just some random blobs. Just two little blobby guys. Wow, all the colors look really good together. Okay, okay. Okay, we're doing good. We are doing good. I'm thinking a little bit of a blue, maybe. I think I'm just gonna do some dots, just some random places with some dots. All right, let's put some yellow, why not? We've got like every other color on there. So I can't believe I just grabbed it like that. I think my shoe is done. And before I show you up close, I'm going to go over the colors some more. And I'm also going to do the second shoe off camera. And then you'll see the final review.
they're done. They turned out awesome. Way better than I could have hoped for, honestly. They look so cool. I did them like asymmetrical, so they're not exactly matching, but they both got like the same ideas going on. And I just, I really like how they turned out. I might actually wear them now because they just look so cool. And it'll be cool to like tell people that I painted them myself and stuff. So I'm going to head inside. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.